Lieten? Hallo, Zee, bij dankie. Um, hi, Dion, hi, Pach. Um, hope, you, hope you're doing well. Dion, um, if, we, if you can just start with explaining what the reasoning is behind um, starting in Buenos Aires with the training first and then moving up to um, Santiago del Estero. Thank you. Um, yeah, the reason for being in Buenos Aires is because we're quite familiar with the surroundings um, where we stay, the training facilities. Um, it just gives us an opportunity um, to adapt and to, to do our work um, without any other disturbances around us. And then I think then we have still have enough time when we leave here um, to adapt quite well to where we're going to play. Yeah. Thanks, Ina. Thanks, Dion. Thanks, Kwaha. Um, Dion, uh, is there any injury changes to the injury status of, of any of the players that's on tour with you? Is everybody fit and available? Yeah, no, unfortunately, there's no injury concern. Every, all the players are available for selection. Um, they've done trained last week and also as we start today, everyone is ready to tackle this week. Nathan? Uh, thank you very much, Z. Um, good day, Dion and Kwaha. Dion, I just want to, uh, I know you, you're quite um, meticulous with your, with your planning, in, it's, it's, especially in, in the set pieces with the lineouts. But what were your takeouts out of the, the two match series um, against New Zealand? There for you, Kwaha, um, just overall, uh, you you guys, how's the meeting camp at the moment and what, what are you guys looking forward to this weekend against Argentina? Hi, Nathan. No, we're looking, we're really excited for this opportunity. Uh, to play against Argentina here, yeah, we know it's going to be very tough. It's never easy coming here. Um, I think obviously we're playing against a team that's on a high. They've beaten two Southern Hemisphere teams. Um, they have a good opportunity to to win the rugby championship. So I think this is a very important game for them as it is for us. So we expect a very very tough encounter. Ronaldo. Uh, hey, Coach Dion, hey, Kwaha, Ronaldo, yeah. Um, question for Coach Dion, I just want to check, what are you expecting from Argentina this weekend? And I mean, what do we need to do um, to be on top of our game? I mean, Argentina is a very unpredictable team. Uh, and also playing in Argentina, we know it's uh, one of the toughest places to go and play rugby. So what do we need to do different this week compared to the first couple of games we played? As I said, I think um, Argentina is a very well coached team. Um, they've got an intelligent coach. Um, I think uh, if you look at their game, they're really on an upward curve in terms of their performance. Um, when you look at the profile of the team, obviously they've got the old um, or the usual customers that are very tough up front. Uh, the Kremers, the Materas, um, the Montoyas, all of those guys, the Lavinis, they are really uh, I'm tough guys up front, so we, we expect a, a, a good challenge in set pieces. And then obviously also they've got some excellent backline players, a lot of them coming um, through the, the Sevens Academy. Um, they showed their skills and uh, their speed of execution in the last couple of games in the rugby championship. So yeah, so I think we, we, we're playing against a well-balanced uh, team, a settled team, um, which with a lot of confidence. So. For us, it's going to be important to uh, to focus on us to ensure that we uh, we stick to the plans that we have um, and uh, that we uh, yeah that we play the game in the right areas and, and and be ready for the challenges whether it's physical or whether it's speed that that um, that they offer that that we can handle that. Morgan, thanks, Ina. Hi, Dion. Hi, Kwaha. Kwaha, if I can just go to you um, quickly. What would it mean for the Springboks to win the Rugby Championship for the first time since 2019? And how much of a motivation is it going into this match against a team where you guys will definitely get a hostile reception? Yeah, I think for us definitely as a team, it's a huge opportunity, obviously, to win the rugby championship. Um, but I think we can't look too far ahead. I think 
it's going to be a really tough game this weekend. Um, Argentina is also in their run to win the competition for a first time. So I think they will be really desperate coming out, winning, wanting to get five points here in Argentina to to make it the final next week in Elspeth. So I think for us as a team, we we try focus on this game this week um, to really work hard to physically match them because they will be coming out and they'll be really desperate to to get a win and to be in contention for the rugby championship. Uh, thank you again, Zina. Kwaka, this is for you. I'm sure you guys have done your review of the All Blacks tests, the two tests. Uh, what were the work on you guys are look or looking to polish up on before taking on a well balanced Argentina side, which is very unpredictable and can beat anyone on the day? Yeah, um, I think after playing the All Blacks twice, um, we've obviously got a few learnings. Um, I think defensively, we wanted to to stop momentum better after the first test match. And I think uh, personally for me, also for the breakdown in the second test match, so we lost a lot of ball. New Zealand got a lot of turnovers and then broke the momentum for us when we were wanting to attack. So I think that's definitely two aspects where we will definitely work hard on. And we know uh, Argentina has got a few good stealers and fetches, and it's definitely going to be a big battle at the breakdown also this coming weekend. Bronco? Yes, thanks. Kwaka, just on, 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 on that uh, loose forwards of uh, your opinion on the loose forwards of, of, of the Argentinians. Okay, let's go to Lita. Sorry, Z, I think your line is just delayed. Um, Francois asked um, Kwaka about the loose forwards of Argentina and, and what you make of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Matera and all those boys are really, really good players and they've been in the system a long time. If you look at the amount of caps he has and then Kramer, depending if he plays lock or flank, um, or close to almost 100 caps. So it's it's something that they will bring to the game is that experience. And obviously the Argentines, they'll be really passionate. Um, they're good players. And like I say, the breakdown is going to be a massive challenge and then obviously also the physical battle in the set piece. Um, I think they'll be coming out and wanting to set the standard there. Leon, um, Leeton, go for it. You go first. Thank you, Justin. Um, Dion, just in terms of Maintaining that momentum, um, what has been the talk in the squad, um, especially after you split and, and then put in some rookies again and keeping some of the rookies back this side for that last test in, in Mombela? Just what was the talk about keeping that momentum and, and, and not being too focused on the end result of, of um, the test on Saturday? No, I think as a Springbok side, we said we always try to put a, to a, a team on the field that we believe in um, can can beat any team on the day. Um, I think the guys that we've selected or bring over, brought over here are guys that have built up some experience in terms of, of, of playing test rugby and we're quite confident that they can uh, give good account of themselves. Um, I think, uh, yes, uh, we understand that Argentina brings a different challenge than, our, than the other teams. But I think everyone is so focused on, on, on this game and ensuring that we put ourselves in a good position um, and really work very hard um, to secure this win and, and to be able to, to, to win the rugby championship. So yeah, we just we just focus on, 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 on this team that's going to play this week. Um, we're quite confident in the players that are here and we're quite excited also to see how they can live up to this unique um, um, surroundings and, and challenge that that um, Argentina bring to us. Justin? Thanks, you. Hi, Dion. Hi, Kwaka. Kwaka, this one's for you. A lot of people, we always talk about the hostile crowd in Argentina and how they support the team. From a player's point of view, how do you guys deal with that? Uh, and what would you potentially compare it to in playing in other parts of the world? 
Yeah, I think um, coming to Argentina, I've been here a few times with Super Rugby and then obviously internationally also. I think it's it's an all-star crowd, but they're really passionate. And I think on the field, it, it really drives you. And you know that you got to pitch up and make sure that you play well so they don't get too loud in the crowds. But I like, quite enjoy it a lot. Um, I think it's a great challenge. I think the stadium that we're going to, I don't know if people know how it looks, but it's quite a new stadium and it's really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to that challenge also. I think it's going to be a really great atmosphere and also their fans being passionate because they know their team's got a chance to to win the rugby championship. Jan? Thank you again, Gina. Akwaka, you touched earlier on the physicality of the Argentinians, but we saw, as we saw that second test against Australia, when they get on a roll, they're very difficult to stop. They, they get flowing in that. What, what do you guys need to do to stop them getting into that uh, rhythm that makes them such a dangerous team, especially on the attack in the back line? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, there's a lot of guys that come from the seven, so they've got a lot of X factor in the back line, and then like they got the experienced players in the in the forwards to to get that physical dominance. So, for us, is to rock up physically and to make sure we do our jobs right, and we play as a team together and make sure when there's something loose or a loose ball on the ground that we we clean it up, or when they're attacking off loose ball that we um, stay together as a team and we play as a team. I think you can easily uh, fall in the trap to play individual. Uh, and then you'll be in big trouble against them. Can you see you with your hand up? Um, yes, thank you very much. Good uh, afternoon from the side. Good morning, that side. Um, Dion, um, what challenges does playing an evening game in Argentina present? Um, the box have been playing a lot of afternoon games. I think I would have experienced playing a night game in Super Rugby, but what does an evening test match in Argentina present um, as a new challenge for the box? I can show now. I think um, for us, um, we we quite used to uh, playing in conditions. It's very. It's, I think it's going to be very hot. It's got, it can become a bit humid. It can make uh, walking get a bit slippery. So these are those are things that we take into account in terms of our preparation. Um, I think um, just to add on what Kwaha said, is we put a massive emphasis on, on on execution for us this week. It's going to be important that we that we look after our ball from a set piece point of view, and then all and obviously. Um, uh, in, when there's kicks on us, that we that we look after that in terms of of, of handling loose balls. Um, so we, it's going to be important. Um, we we for us we we prepare to ensure that we can execute to the best of our ability, um, and we we will adapt to we will try our best to adapt to the situation and whatever uh, come up on uh, on game day. I think we will we will find solutions in order to to handle that better. Um, the any further English questions? Uh, or Percy, is that an English question? Zina, I'll wait for the Afrikaans. Thank you. Uh, if there are no further English questions, then we can go with Afrikaans, Percy. So, yeah, come for it. Well, thank you so much, Zina. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Goye Mora. Quality that is. Dion, can I ask you a question? Dion, can you ask me a question? Do you have of that any Kneesplekke beserings is ons het laas gehoor van Grant Williams wat homself moes onttrek van die span. Is daar enige beserings wat jylle oor bekommerd is of is jy het jylle a volle fikse groep um, beskikbaar vir, vir oorweging vir die naweek? En kwa gaan nie kortliks, in die onlangse verlede sal so mens, of jy sal my korrigeer, maar in die onlangse verlede nog sal so mens gepraat van dat die springboek gaan net na uh, uh, in die toets ten Argentinië om te wacht om net te gaan wen. Is dit deze dan nog die geval? Kan een springboekspan een viermalige wereldkampioen net gaan Argentinië toe en verwacht? Om vijf punten op te gaan tellen daarop. Dus ja, om alle spelers wat ons hier is recht voor uh, om gekiest te worden voor die spanners of in die en hierdie stadium begin bekomen is een woord besiering. Ja, ik denk per se voor ons als spelers weet ons dat kan niet makkelijk wees om in te komen. Ik denk uh, die Argentijnse span wat hier jaren nee rugby championship gespeeld het, weet de mens. Hulle kan enige span wen, hulle het in New Zealand gewen, hulle het in Australië gewen, so ons kan nie verwag om net hierna toe te kom en te dink het gaan gebeur nie, so ons speesig met ons voorbereiding, ons het laatst week al begin en ons wil seker maak dat ons op die dag reg is vir wat ook al kom, ons weet het gaan een fysische battle wees en ons sal reg wees daarvoor, maar dit gaan definitief nie net gebeur nie, so 
ons gaan definitief as een span moet speel en vir mekaar moet speel en redig hard werk vir die uh, wen. Uh, Kwaag, jy het um, am, ek wil amper sê vier thuis wedstrijde gehad, daar toe in Australië was daar uh, een jelse klomp Suid-Afrikaanse ondersteuners um, maar Argentinië gaan, gaan jy altemaal iets anders bring um, hoe, hoe gaan jy van die crowd af feed om, om jy te motiveer um, vat jy maar die boos wat jy kan toekom en, en probeer het om, om skep een positieve um, drijfkracht Ja, definitief. Ek dink, mens weet, die ondersteuners hier het baie passie vir hulle span en nou wat hulle ook dalkie competitie kan wen, gaan hulle net nog meer passievol wees. So, ek dink vir ons, ons moet nabij blij as span, nabij mekaar blij, dit gaan hard wees, mens gaan dalkie die calls kan en so mens gaan seker maak, die communicatie is goed op die veld en dan ook, ja, net die, die geraas en dit te gebruik vir energie om mekaar te motiveer en dit is altyd lekker om te speel waar jy weer die mens het passief vir die verrakkie, so vir ons gaan ons net ons beste gee, en soos ek sê, ek dink, die belangrijkste ding is om so nabij as moendlik en so tyd as moendlik as gespan te blij. Are there any further questions in Afrikaans guys? Is dit nog Afrikaans? Ek kan, jy kan een laaste ene nie gooi, dit is ons recht voor sê. Baie dankie, Zina. Dion, kan ek vraag, van afrikaanspunte, van, van, van afrikaanse kant af, kan ek jou vraag, um, daar word baie gepraat van jylle, nodig net drie legapunte om hierdie titel reeds in, in te palm. Is dit waar aan jylle denk, of kan mens praat van een van Grand Slam in die rugby kampioens? Ek pas, ek denk, um, ons het het voorheen gesê, dat ons focus is om elke toets te win, om die beste moendlik verlever wat ons kan lever. Ek denk elke speler um, wat die spring op trui aan het, om ons het een besonderse eer, en hy wil om persoonlijk laat geld in elke geleentheid wat hy kry. En dat is waar onze focus is. Ons focus is om die beste moendelike span te wees en die beste moendelike vertoning op te sit hierdie naweek. Um, ja, ons, daar, daar is die verwachting uh, dat ons um, um, hierdie wedstrijd kan win of die volgende wedstrijd kan win, maar vir ons is het net absoluut uh, ons is focus op die dinge wat ons kan beheer en uh, dat wat ons kan beheer is, is, is die manier hoe ons die wedstrijd benader, die manier hoe ons dinge uitvoer op die veld uh, en uh, vir ons is het belangrijk om, om te sorg dat um, ons hierdie geleentheid gebruik om, 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 om succes te behaal en, en nie te ver voor uit te ding. Uh, fantastic guys, I see there aren't further questions so um, I'll be sending out the recording